Now, I want to say right at the beginning of this video, this is the NVIDIA RTX 5090 mobile, the laptop GPU, and not the desktop gaming GPU. So with that, let's go. This information is actually not from NVIDIA, so please keep that in mind. So the initial launch is expected to come with 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 that matches the current mobile RTX 1490. Key changes here would be three gigabit GDDR7 modules. The use of these new modules is a game changer for a bunch of reasons. One of them being, you know, all the bandwidth that you're going to get when it comes to GDDR7. Potentially, there might be a 24 gigabyte configuration. These new modules could actually allow for a future 24 gigabyte mobile RTX 5090 matching the desktop RTX 4090's VRAM. Now, bandwidth is going to be really impressive on these because they use the GDDR7 memory. It's going to offer significant speeds over the previous generation. You're looking at 28 gigabits per second compared to the 18 gigabits per second on the mobile 4090. That's, of course, using the GDDR7 six memory and with that you're going to get some improvements overall when it comes to gaming now the die is different for the mobile version compared to the desktop the mobile version uses the gb203 die and the desktop version uses the gb202 die the cuda cords are also different the mobile version is about half of what the desktop is and that's kind of understandable if you want the best you go ahead and get a desktop not a laptop what is the difference well the mobile version will have 10,752 CUDA cores as opposed to the desktop version which will have 21,760. Now, please keep in mind that all of this is speculation based on a number of articles and leaks that have happened over the last little while. Until we hear from NVIDIA on this, we're not going to truly know. However, we're pretty close. We're a few weeks away from the release of all this juicy information. Can't wait.